Hello everyone, this is Chef Timmy James. Recently I was able to travel to the beautiful country of Chile and experience some delicious Chilean foods and local wines. First stop was a winery in the Maipo Valley called Arras de Pirque. This winery was originally owned by people who loved horses so much that the actual building of the winery is in the shape of a giant horseshoe. Below the fountain, in the center of the horseshoe, was the winery's tasting room. It was such a beautiful day and such delicious wines. Hi everyone, I'm on an amazing tour of Chile. And today uh, we came on a wine tour in the Maipo Valley to Arras de Pirque. And it's a winery that is a, a boutique wine and it's just totally amazing. And uh, we're, we'll be sharing the pictures and uh, everything coming up. So we've been having a wonderful time. Thank you. The second winery we visited was also in the Maipo Valley. Concha y Toro actually makes one of my favorite wines, Marquez de Casa Concha. They are the largest winery in all of Chile. They produce many levels of wine, all of them delicious. You've probably had some yourself. One of their biggest labels is Casillero del Diablo, which is a very popular Chilean wine in the United States. After we toured the beautiful grounds and saw the vineyards, we went inside into the wine cellars where we learned all about the legend of the Casillero del Diablo. Hello everyone, today we are at El Palacio de la Choriana and that is a Chilean restaurant in Santiago, Chile and we've been having such a wonderful time here and this is going to be my first taste at a pisco sour. It is a native drink to Chile and it is made with pisco which is a type of brandy, a Chilean brandy and lemon juice and also a little bit sugar. So let me just try this. Cheers! Salud! Mmm! 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 That's delicious. Mmm! That's such a nice tart flavor to it. It's not made with sour mix, it's just the lemon that's in there. But it tastes a lot like a, a, a margarita, which is with a delicious taste. Highly recommend you try one of these. Now I'm going to try a local beer to Chile. It is a cross beer, and this one is a Maiba. And it is similar to a lager at home, and it has a more potent flavor to it. A little higher alcohol content too. So let's try this out. Mmm. Has a really nice rich flavor to it. I love the more um, stronger beers and it has a really great taste to it. Maybe I'll take another sip. Mmm. This is going to be a fun lunch. Stay with me as we have the rest of our lunch and the rest of our drinks. For appetizers, uh, we ordered a combination of four different types of empanadas. So they don't say which ones they are, so I'm gonna have to guess each one when I taste it. So let's see what we have first. Oh, 
Mm. I think this is the pollo, which is chicken and cheese. Let's just check this out. Mm. Mm. Nice taste of onion, which is cebolla. See pollo. Mm. It is so delicious. Mm. 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 On this one, I lost my meat. And this is carne mechada. And uh, it's just shredded meat. I'm going to put a little salsa on there. Thank God Chileans love salsa as well as Mexicans. Mmm. Mmm. Full of flavor. Mm. Who doesn't like empanadas? Oops. Mm. On to the next one. Mm. Now this may be the shrimp, which would be camarones. Let's just see. Mm. Camarones, which would be shrimp with a little queso, cheese. Very delicate in taste, delicious. Mm. I love it. Mm. Now, for the mushroom lovers, these are champignones. And this would be mushrooms with a little cheese. I'm going to put some of the salsa in there. It's getting loud in here. They're getting rowdy. Mm. It's delicious. Mm. I love them all. Empanadas are beautiful. They make me happy. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Another typical dish in Chile are the chorianas, and they consist of French fries, papas fritas, uh, some carne or whatever you want on them. This one is beef, caramelized onions, and a wonderful fried egg on top. Let's try this one out. I just have to let the egg yolk ooze over all this goodness over here. I'm going to take some of it. Don't want to be too messy. I'm going to try some of the... I'm going to help myself out. All right, french fry. Meat. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Definitely delicious. Very decadent because of all the french fries. Which means I'm going to have to do a lot more walking in order to work, work off my food. <laughs> but I love it. And this is such a great experience in Chile. So stay tuned as you see more of my experiences while I'm here in Chile. I also had the fortune of going to another popular wine region, which was closer to the coast, the Casablanca Valley. At Indomita, we started our official tasting a little early with a delicious lunch in the restaurant, and I ate the largest filet mignon I've ever had in my life. On the tour of the winery, not only did we get the chance to meet the actual winemakers, but our guide taught us the art of smelling the aromas of your wine to truly enjoy it. He was a very sensual person, 
just like I am. Hello everyone. Right now uh, we are at the Indomita Winery in the Casablanca Valley in Chile. And as you can see, it's such a beautiful area and such just so picturesque. And we just came back from a tour in Valparaiso and Vina Del Mar. And right now we're going to go on a wine tasting. So stay tuned for the for the experience of the Chilean wine tour. Thank you.